Hey guys, it's Kara from Never Skip Brunch, and today we're going to be building a DIY blanket ladder, which is a super simple project. Um, I'm building mine for the space right here. Home, home, just wanna go, just wanna go. Home, home, back home, I've been going for way too long. Home, home, just wanna go, just wanna go. Home, home, I'm on my way back home. are basically a great way to make use of vertical space. Also having blankets displayed um, kind of in your living room helps it feel more cozy and is great for winter decor. Um, it also is really good for small spaces because you can have your blankets vertically versus in a basket or a bin which is taking up floor space. Um, so obviously you can find amazing ladders at you know a flea market or maybe even a thrift store but we're gonna DIY one that's super super easy. Um, if you are not a great woodworker this is definitely still your project because we're not gonna have to do any like screwing wood into other wood. It's very very simple. We're gonna use some pipes um, for the rungs and so all you have to do is get your hole drilled straight into your board so that the pipe will fit between it. Um, so super easy, I promise. Let us uh, let me show you what materials you'll need and then we'll get started with the step-by-step. -step. So for materials, I have one two by four that was 10 foot long. I had the hardware store cut it in half so it's five foot long or 60 inches. That's gonna be the um, height of your ladder. So if you want a taller one, feel free to go taller. You could get a 12 foot long board or if you need it to be shorter, you could get like an eight foot long board. Either way, we're cutting it in half. So we have two two by four pieces that are the same um, height. So then you'll need five of these pipes. So I chose 18 inch pipes because it's a really good um, kind of middle ground width. Um, 12 inches is like a little bit too short and 24 is like a little bit too wide. Um, so I'm doing five, and if you want to have this project be cheaper, you can just do four. Um, or if you have like really long blankets, um, you can totally customize these. But five is a really good length because my boards are five foot long. So then I'm going to need the caps for each end. So these are half inch um, diameter and then 18 inches long. And then these are just the little caps that go on the end. So they just look like this. They screw on. Um, that way, so I'm gonna go paint these guys first and then I'll work on drilling the holes in my boards while they dry. Oh, the other thing about this is you're gonna see in the store they have this like steel gray galvanized color and then they have a black one. So a lot of people buy the black thinking like it's painted black but it's actually like a super oily coating. So if you want your um, pipes to be a different color, whether that's black or gold, you're gonna wanna spray paint them and you're gonna wanna buy this color um, and then spray paint over it because that um, black stuff is not painted black, it's oil and it's like this gross tar and it will get all over your blankets. So um, make sure you get these gray ones and then re-spray paint them if you want them a different color. Also, this is my favorite respirator for painting um, because it has this little like boxy thing that lets air come through a lot easier. So you're not like struggling for air. Like some of them, it's just like a coffee filter over your face. Um, so this guy is a good one. Okay, so I just laid everything out on my drop cloth to spray paint them black. Um, I got all the stickers off of the pipes and you wanna make sure you don't paint over the thread or the part that screws um, when you're painting. So I actually leave these orange covers on because it's gonna protect the thread from the paint. 
Um, if you are missing orange covers, sometimes in the store they like pop off, you can just tape over it with painter's tape. And then for these little guys, I just set them down facing upwards so that the thread is on the bottom and protected from paint. So now I'm just gonna spray paint in black and then wait for them to dry. Okay, so now I'm all done spray painting and I'm going to go drill the holes in my boards. Um, I'm gonna sand them down after I drill since drilling will probably leave like a little rough um, part if I, especially if you do it fast and like kind of chip up your wood. So um, I'm gonna drill my holes and then I'm going to sand them and then they'll be ready to stain. Okay, so I measured 15 inches up from the bottom and then two inches in and then the rest of my bars are going every 10 inches. So I want the bottom to be 15 inches because it's gonna give room for the blanket to hang down a little bit without being on the floor. So I go 15 and then another 10, 10, 10, and 10. And then on this side, you can see I've measured, there's 15 up and here's two inches in. Um, so you wanna make sure they're even, um, however you measure them because they need to be perfectly even for the bar to be able to slide through. And then it's also important to drill your holes um, in as straight as possible. So time to get drilling. So to drill my holes, I have my work table, a piece of really thick styrofoam, and then my board all clamped together because you wanna go all the way through the board so that the pipe can go all the way through. Um, so I have this styrofoam. You can also use a piece of um, scrap wood. This is just what I had laying around. So um, either way totally works. Just make sure it's clamped down really well so that you can get a really straight um, cut through the wood. So I finished drilling the holes and now it's time to sand the boards down and then stain them. So now that I'm finished sanding, it is time to stain. Um, I'm using Briar Smoke, which is my favorite color stain by far. It's kind of like a grayish stain. And um, usually I like put it on, let it soak in, and then I kind of sand down different areas because then it like lightens it up a little bit, makes it look a little more like weathered and kind of rustic. So um, I'll put on the stain, wait till it's dry, and then do the sanding after. So now the stain and spray paint are dry, so I'm going to just assemble it, put the pipes in, and screw on the little end caps, and then we should be all done.
Just wanna go Just wanna go Home, home I'm on my way back home